Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio. We take a look at portable shortwave radios under $20, usually under $20, we stretch on occasion. And what we do is we unbox a radio, we look at all the, the uh, elements of the radio on the outside, and eventually we'll fire it up and, and give it a little performance review give it a little test. There's no uh, no pyrotechnics, no theatrics, no outlines. I have no idea how this is ever going to turn out. Um, these are straight out of the box, um, sight unseen, so this is um, kind of hard to prepare for something like that when you don't really know what you're going to find. And uh, you know, it's just we, we, we go kind of slow around the radio. Uh, we take our time. We have some fun with it. Um, I would say if, if you have the attention span of a gnat, this is probably not the channel for you because we're pretty laid back here. And uh, anyway, enough of the negativity. Today, we're going to slowly look at the show you SYS26 cute little radio I guess I could put it upright it'll fit into the screen and uh, I've had it opened up just long enough I had to charge the lithium-ion battery inside and everything is Chinese on it it looks like and honestly the only directions you get are this panel here and I have no idea what that's, I don't know. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be too difficult to figure out. And uh, the show you line, there was another, uh, I've done a review of a, another show you radio. And um, Tom Stiles, Hamrad 88, I think he's done a review on this particular brand. I don't think this model, but this particular brand. And... Uh, I don't know, they kind of catch my eye for some reason, so let's tear into it. We don't want people to wait too long. Let's get into it and see what we got. Like I said, let's get into it. The box was a little beat up, but not too bad. There was no um, no instructions at all with it, and that's so that I guess that's it on this side. And that's okay. The big bonus to the radio, as I get everything to focus here, the wrist strap was already detached for us, so we don't have to use that. We can put that over there. And if you follow along, you know how I feel about those. Cute little radio. And I, I love the red color analog dial. It's an AM, FM, shortwave radio mp3 player with a flashlight so it's feature feature rich that's for sure looks like they've broken the shortwave down into two bands shortwave one and two shortwave's going to cover from three to ten and ten to twenty two megahertz so it's got good frequency range uh the speaker is is oh inch and three quarter maybe at best hopefully you can see that in the light I don't know looks like it's a I don't know it's got a center cone inside of it so let's whip around to the right side of the radio we've got an off switch mp3 and radio so that's pretty easy our volume knob is here tuning knob is here and surprisingly very smooth and that's always that's a comfort when it's smooth to operate and doesn't drag and stick and click around the back side I don't know if we have a base port back here to enhance the sound the battery it's a cell phone battery it fits in here of course our antenna is on the back side and we'll just look at it while it's out. It's a really tiny antenna. Only 13 inches tall. 
but we'll figure that all out as we get to it. And then on the last side, this is the most complicated side it looks. Uh, we have a charging light. When we plug it in, that came on. Uh, I was surprised there was no charging cable that came with this. It just takes a USB, a USB cable and hook it up to your computer. Well, I have a million of those, but it still it was, no, it didn't come with one. That's, you know, there, somebody could buy one of these and not even be able to use it out of the box because there's no cable. That's kind of a negative. Uh, the LED, it's a, a flashlight, is here. And then we've got a micro SD card, which I've already loaded up with some uh, music files from the YouTube library. Headphone jack. There is the charging port for the, the USB cable charging port. Looks like we have controls here. Uh, for the mp3 play fast forward and rewind and an on off switch that turns the little light on kind of handy in a way it, it, yeah it's okay so let's go around here and let's first just start with the there's the oh it just starts right away. There's the MP3 player. It's got a really good sound. There's full volume. Ah, that sounds really good. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's rewind. There's fast forward, gives you a little beep when you hit the button. See if there's anything else on there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, let's move on ahead to the other stuff. We'll go up to the radio. Oh, and the top part of it, I didn't cover that. We've got a port here marked MP3 USB. So you could put a flash drive in the top of this loaded with your MP3s also. Or I suppose... Yeah, I suppose a flash drive. I don't know what else you could do with it, but it's there. And then you've got your band switch up here, SW2, 1, AM, and FM. Let's pop it up and, and just take a quick spin here. We'll start out at FM. When she does it. got a really good sound to it. Hundreds of smoking in a more comfortable way. Now is the time. Visit IndieHypnosis.com. Wow, that's got a good sound to it for such a small speaker. Very cool. Call now. Let's move it over to AM now. I don't have to be as cautious about music. Not too bad. Not, not the most sensitive thing on earth. But I'll have to I'll have to update in the uh, um, I'll have to update in the the description section. I think this was twenty dollars and fifty cents, right at that twenty dollar limit. So I started to say it's not bad for a radio under twenty bucks. I had twenty dollars. not bad on AM, not the greatest thing. Let's just wheel down here. Now we're at shortwave one. We're at three megahertz. We're probably 
this band probably won't have much. We'll probably have more in the daytime on shortwave two. But we'll go through it kind of quickly here. Okay. There's WWV, 10 megahertz. And you can see the needle there in the 10 megahertz. It's not aligned terribly. We've had we've had a lot worse, that's for sure. Cool. Let's jump up to two. See if we there we go. We catch it down there the same because it goes from ten and starts at ten. Even though from ten to eleven seems to be okay. Well, whatever. Yeah, we'll keep moving here. And there's fifteen megahertz is right in between the fourteen and seventeen, which would be the Next iteration of WWV. Okay, well, it's picking up a couple of stations here and there. Let's go back. Funny how it picked up. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was going to say I thought I missed it. Well, it, it's good for that, but it doesn't pick up a whole lot. Uh, let's just, for giggles, go back to, to band one real quick. The raccoons are still finding ways to trap, even if they... Very sensitive. You just barely move the tuning dial and it changes. And we're back to that. So, okay. So that's, there's the radio piece of it. Huh, not a bad little radio, actually. And uh, probably looks better than it performs, but that's okay, too. Huh, I kind of like this one. It has a nice feel to it. It's about, oh, it's a... Probably a three by five card, I'd say. It is really three by five and about an inch and a half thick. So it's a good size. It would fit in your shirt pocket, I think. And uh, become a neat little radio. I, I really, the negatives of it, I don't know. I It would probably benefit if you took a, a strand of wire and connected onto your telescopic antenna and got that wire out. A little bit two or three foot extra would probably help the reception of it uh, overall there's not a lot of real negative to it it's got a really good sound to it uh, just kind of a, a middle of the road little radio um, you know on a scale of one to ten I would I would give this a six probably uh, certainly not the best thing that, that we've ever looked at and definitely not the worst. Um, that tuning is is very very fluid and smooth, and that's that's important when you're trying to when you're trying to hit a station that close together. Uh, you want that tuning to be very easy and smooth, and and that's 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 a bonus. So anyway, I think I'll wrap this one up, and. Uh, Six out of ten. That's a good, good day, I think. Um, but this is the Show You SYS26 AM FM shortwave MP3 player flashlight, and uh, not a bad little radio. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, feel free to click the subscribe button. 
there's also a, a link down in the description um, where you can donate through PayPal to help support the channel. And I'm not in any way trying to beg for money or, or anything. Uh, all of this is, is just about having fun with a radio. Uh, we're not on any time constraints. Like I said earlier, we're not. We don't have an outline script or anything that we follow. We just pop these open and, and see what happens. And uh, But if you want to donate, if you feel so inclined, it is very much appreciated. Because what I do with it is, is I keep content out there uh, for everybody that does enjoy the channel. And uh, anyway. Yeah, this is very cool. I'm sorry, my mind started to go elsewhere for some reason. I don't know. Uh, it's been one of those days for some reason. It's been a strange, strange day so far. So it was good to get out here and, and have a successful review of something. And uh, I hope you have a great weekend. Hope you enjoy this perfect weather. It's going to be coming to an end. I need to figure out. I need to figure out where two hands and a radio is going to go after the snow is on the ground. And I suppose we'll be doing reviews inside. And anyway, with that, I hope you've enjoyed this. And we will see you at the next review.